The 2013 Higher Level Section A for MTW. Question 1, uh, tick box. Uh, which tool is it? It's a router. Used for routing, cutting mouldings, joints, grooves, rebates. Question 2, it's pincers, which you normally use in the woodwork room. Uh, removing nails from wood. And question 3 is uh, identify so hardwoods and softwoods. So obviously ash, sycamore, cherry, or hard hardwoods in our Norway spruce and Scots pine are these typical type of uh, pine trees. Question four, uh, the manufactured wood, W, what is exterior grade plywood? What do the letters WBP stand for? So weather boil proof or water boil proof, any of the two would, would do there. Four stages in the life cycle of a common furniture beetle, so it's egg, larva, pupa, and adult, common enough one. And this one here, there's a bit to do with the gears. Uh, if the small gear rotates clockwise, so it's heading around this direction here, so if that's the movement of it, um, it's actually sending this one anti-clockwise, so you did give a wee thought about that. And then it's down to the, the part B is the gear rotates at 35, the small gear rotates 35 revolutions. So it's got 12 teeth by 35, which gives you two, uh, 420. And then on the big one, we've got 24 teeth. So you divide it into that there, it gives you the revolutions or the speed that is rotating that. Simple as that. Uh, hardwood and sapwood, are, or the sapwood area is the lighter colored and the dark hardwood is, is, is the darker colored area. Uh, the diagram of shows the leaves uh, of common trees. So the first one's oak and the acorns. Scots pine, long needles, gives that one away in its cone shape. And the horse chestnut of the conqueror and the digitate. Common question then uh, that comes up regularly is the categories of plastics, thermal setting and thermoplastics. And then it says here the category of plastic which can be moulded and remoulded many times. So thermal setting is the one that can't, so it's obviously thermoplastics. Then 10, sash cramp, sometimes a T-bar cramp might be put in there, or a bar cramp. Uh, for holding timber while loose sets is the most common uh, job of it. Then uh, the diagram shows you holding the chisel or sharpening the chisel, and it asks, lists the stages in the correct order. So it gives you the three stages. Grinding is the first part. Holding is the Use, is sharpen it on the stone and then the burr removal is a little bit the courage around the back to finish off the sharpening. The two categories uh, of metals, a common one this two, ferrous and non-ferrous. Ferrous contains iron so ferrous contains iron it means it'll rust so that's the main difference between the two categories. Uh, yeah, 13 is uh, wood turning lathe Named, labeled the parts, so this could be the headstock or the motor. Then B is the tool rest, and C could be could be uh, the tailstock or the dead center or live center. This little bit in here that uh, attaches to the end of the wood, and then the scroll saw is the name of the machine shown here. Function to keep the I say oh yeah the bit this labeled A that could be hard enough to see. There's a little pipe that comes in there that blows away the dust, uh, but some people might have mistaken that maybe for the guard just to protect uh, the blade or protect your hands from getting at the blade. Then this one 15, uh, it, it's the uh, converting the timber, the natural edge left on board. Uh, what to give it a little rustic look, what's the correct name? It's a weeny edge. Um, name one method of conversion, well, any of them will do, through and through, quarter sawn, tangential sawn, whatever. Name of the hinge, hinge just on its own won't do, it's a butt hinge uh, used for boxes door, box lids, doors, cabinets, that sort of thing, depending on the size. And the plug, which is a common one that comes up as well too. So you have to tick which one is the neutral. The neutral is the blue lead, which is coming in here. The live always goes, or the positive, sometimes people call it the positive, up to the, the, the fuse, where the fuse is. And then the one that's in the middle, which is the longest pen, is our earth. So the color is blue for the neutral. Right, this is a, a kind of, I, I, I don't like the way that the, with the, so much grain in it here, it kind of makes it a wee bit more difficult. And some people maybe like to use set squares when doing these types of things. So if you do, maybe you want to use it, um, two set squares to give parallel lines maybe. 
Uh, I, you could do it freehand too, by the way. I'm just doing this here with the set skirts because some people will prefer this. And uh, then, of course, for parallel lines then as well too. You know, you've got your, your sloping sides on the, the dovetail. So uh, try and get that as accurate as you can. There's not much given there to go by. I'll draw that parallel. That parallel. And then I'll turn it around vertical. Finish off a vertical line on this here. You can see it's not complete either where it meets up. So something along those lines there. You could do this uh, freehand, but the set square will give you a little bit of an edge on the, the accuracy of the lines matching up. So draw everything light first of all. I'm going to end up drawing this in, in pen, but you could settle for drawing it in pencil. Just make sure that it's clear. And seeing as they've drawn a heap of end grain on this here, I suppose we, you could draw a heap of end grain too. I see that's the wrong one. as well I suppose I have the top and bottom point and I'm going to go over it in pen and I'm going to go over it in pen and I'm going to go freehand with it but you could use the set squares again so this is the tails that I'm completing here easy to leave out a line maybe And if you wanted to, I suppose you could complete the bits of grain that they've already started on this here. Not necessary though. So that there's the sketch. Uh, number 19, dry rot. Uh, name. It says, uh, uh, yeah, the term dry rot refers to decay caused by certain species of fungi which attack the wood. Name any such species. So there's Serpula and Merulus lacrimans. So it's Serpula lacrimans and Merulus lacrimans. Uh, two Latin names. And uh, list three conditions necessary for uh, dry rot. So you need stagnant air or poor ventilation, moisture and food, uh, the warmth and spores. Dry rot is not like wet rot. The spores can transfer to perfectly healthy wood and destroy it. So that's uh, very important that it wouldn't be transferred. And I'll have to zoom out for this one. We're nearly there now. This, is a wee bit, this video has gone a wee bit longer than I, I hope that sketch was kind of slow enough of itself. So the first one here is basic, uh, the 200. The long rail is... Uh, Long horizontal rail. Have to look for it here now. Oh yeah, the two two sixty by forty five. So the forty five is up here, and the horizontal rail then across. Um, now it's two hundred, but we're yeah we're told uh, sorry one thirty six is is shown here, and uh, we have two uh, mid pieces of material twelve millimeters either at the end. So that's twenty four twenty four and one three six gives us 160 and the short upright which is this one here there's you could make the mistake of thinking there's four there's only two and the roof then being 300 so that's it basically <laughs> 